Hello, my name's Richard from Denford Limited. I'm a product specialist, and today we're going to show you how to drill two axle holes in an F1 in schools class car. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use tool one for this uh, demonstration, and we're going to use two programs a left hand side and a right hand side, and we're going to get the distances from the centre of the cartridge hole in X and Y, see where the dimples are, and then the other one will be just an X value, and that'll be for the next dimple. Then we'll turn the car over and we'll run the other programme, which will be on the left hand side. So now it's over to the programme. So I've opened up um, a pre-made programme here, and it's axle holes right hand side. There's also another program called Axel Hull's Left Hand Side FNC. Both of these programs can be found in the link below of uh, this YouTube video. These values here need altering depending on the design of your car. So this is the rear, the rear axle hull and this one here is the front axle hull. So we just need to put in three different positions. So the, the rear axle hole is from the center of the cartridge hole in X, which is 36.975, and Y, which is minus 17.315 from this cartridge hole. That will drill that hole. And then we go in X, we wrap it over to X141875, which will be that hole there. When we run this program, the machine will do it in the standard fixture. So we've opened up VR mill in V5. We've inputted the first program, which is axle holes right hand side FNC. And we're now gonna go down, click on auto, click on stop, click on rewind and press start. And the machine's gonna come across and go those. So after cutting the right hand side, we're now going to cut the left hand side. As you can see, I've turned the um, F1 car model over and now we're going to run the left hand side program. The only difference to the right hand side program is that this one's got an M71 and that's a mirror command that changes the coordinates for the other side. So again, we go into auto, stop, we rewind the program, we press start. If you want me to drill on the fourth axis, it's no different, but it's got a slightly different command into the program. So what we've done in the link below the video, there is a sub call and the two axle hole programs, which will run on our fourth axis. All that will need to be altered is the X and Y coordinates to match your design. So as you can see, the machine's drilled all the way through the um, axle holes. This was set up with tool one, so it's a 6.35 mil um, tool that takes a Denford standard bush. But if you wanted to use a smaller drill, you would have to change the tool and it would have to match the tool that you'd set up with the R5 milli. Thank you for watching.